Okay. Yes. Hot potato, hot potato. Can, can you I can you introduce this episode, Aaron, today? Uh, well, everybody, <laughs> welcome. Good day. What's good? What's good? Good? Oh, What's good? good? <laughs> What's good, everybody? And welcome back to Good Influences. It is a podcast, if you weren't aware. Um today. <laughs> You know, most days we just dive, divulge into deep topics, and uh, today we're going to take a stab at hot takes. <laughs> that was pretty good. <laughs> really good job. <laughs> What's your name? Oh, yeah, you didn't intro oh, us. <laughs> my name is Erin. This is Matt, Carly and Contro, and Mike Sheffer. And today, like I said, we're going to be talking about hot takes, real fun, hot topics. And another really fun thing about today's hot takes is majority of the episode will be listener based because so 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 many of you sent in hot takes Good. and i think it's going to be really really fun and if you ever want to contribute to our podcast you can email us at goodinfluencespodcast at gmail.com um each week we do have a very you know topical episode um and we most of the time post it on our instagram the week prior so follow us there and you too can be a part of the gang over at <laughs> Good Influences. Hot take. That was a good Matt impression. Thank you so much. I love that we're doing this as a topic because it can branch off to so many different things. Totally. Yeah. yeah, the conversations to be had. I really had to think about my own hot takes. Oh, I I think I did. A, I actually had one that you said one time that uh -huh. I, has never left my memory. Oh, and I want to know And just to clarify, because oh. Matt was even a little bit confused earlier, a hot take is... A controversial opinion, maybe an yeah. unpopular opinion, something that you believe to be true that maybe can go against the grain, maybe is a little bit oh. socially different than what other people believe. And it's like what you I feel like a pretty common hot take is like oatmeal raisin cookies are better than like chocolate chip cookies. Yeah, that would be a great example of a hot yeah. take because it's simply not true. But <laughs> that's no, like the hot take. Someone has an opinion. <laughs> it's like, well, I, I do think oatmeal like are better than chocolate chip. I love oatmeal raisin cookies. I do too. But I probably better. Mm. Probably not. It's all, it depends on my mood. <laughs> they're either more useful. Like, <laughs> you, you get your protein. You get yeah. your raisins. You can eat it for you breakfast get... almost. Yeah, like oatmeal, they stay kind of chewy because yeah. of like yeah, what, whatever's in it. Like. I think the problem is when you bite into it, you're expecting chocolate chip, but then it's oatmeal raisin. Oh, I think yeah. that's Are where the problem is. Are you seriously lies. saying to me right now that you would rather <laughs> have an oatmeal raisin cookie than a chocolate chip cookie? I'm telling you it's based on my mood. I Depends so, how hungry I am. I think, okay, here's the thing. If I went to a restaurant and I was like, can I have the chocolate chip cookie? And they accidentally gave me an oatmeal raisin one, I'd be fine with it. Oh, I wouldn't eat it. Really? Do you not like well, them? Mike no. eats marshmallows for breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> marshmallows and chocolate. <laughs> but what was the hot take that Carly had that yeah. you said you've never forgot? Okay. That she likes turbulence. Because for me, there's a very, <laughs> like, there's a differentiation between, like, not caring about turbulence, like, if it's happening, and then yeah. liking it. But I remember one time specifically, she was like, oh, yeah, like, sometimes when it happens, I'm like, ooh, it's like a roller coaster. It's like a ride. And I'm like, that's psychotic. <laughs> I <The vibration. laughs> Yeah. I'll be honest. That has to have been a long time ago, right? It was, like, a few years ago. Yeah. Because, like, I, I, for those who don't know, have crippling flight anxiety. Yeah. So, like... You know, when we fly together, she's like fine for the most part. There's been a few flights where she like gives a look where she's yeah. like, oh, and then I'm like, if she's scared, <laughs> she loves her. Yeah. yeah. I will say, as I've gotten older, I feel like it has scared me more. Yeah. <clears throat> because I feel like when you get older, you just realize, you realize more. Anything can happen. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But I did like it. The first time I ever flew, I was probably like 12, and it was Carly. so fun to me. Oh, no, right. genuinely, yeah. I was like, Whoa. like yes! It's yes. More, going more, down. More. I'm like, Whoa. No, but I was like, oh, it feels like it's a roller coaster feeling. That's yeah. all I could think of. It's and I never left it. in my memory because it was like the hottest take I've ever heard. <laughs> yeah. I will say I don't, I wouldn't someone. say that now. Yeah. I'd be like, I, it's fine, but I don't prefer and it. And you still have flight anxiety? Yeah. I did travel um, alone recently, and I think that actually helped a lot. But oh. uh, then on the flight back, it was like <laughs> my flight recently that was like pretty turbulent. And then I think it re scared me. Have you ever seen videos of them like testing airplanes where they bend the wings like it, 90 degrees? And, yeah. Like... Oh, I've seen it all. It's just like a, I don't know. It's so silly because I'm like, I know. Like, all of the data, the facts are like, yeah. driving in a car, you're way more likely to die. But as yeah. I was saying earlier, it's like, I think it's a control thing, because I don't know what's going on up there. Like, if I could sit next to the pilot the whole time, be like, hell yeah. Right. Like, he's keeping me informed the whole flight. And that's another thing, is like, I hate when I get pilots that, if it's turbulent, they're not like, hey, everyone, like, we're just going through a rough patch or whatever, like... 
we're going to be like this for the next 10 minutes or so. Like if they don't say shit and they're just like, buckle up. Uh-huh. And I'm like, what do you mean? <laughs> What's happening then? Yeah. What do also, you mean? Also, I like my pilots old. I don't like young pilots. Like I'll hear yeah, a pilot pilot kid on the on the speaker one day. Yeah, he was a kid. He was like, what's a up team. guys? Uh, we're going to be going over to uh, San Francisco today. I'm like, absolutely not. Right now. Don't call me dude. Yeah. Like he's just like. <laughs> what's up, turbulent twos? And like, like right when the plane ended. It was a great flight. He did a great job, but I had to go find him. I'm like, how old are you? And he's like, I'm 24. I was oh like, Oh my what? god, it's 24. I do, yeah. I don't know. It's like I know all of the things, but right. like at the end of the day, it's just like a fear. It's like my health anxiety. I know that I'm fine, but your brain just like tells you otherwise. Yeah, it sucks. Because because like I don't know. And we even did like a flight course, and it's like I know these oh, yeah. things, and it's like yeah. I feel like if I knew if I was a pilot. I'd be fine because I'm like, I know why this is happening. Mm-hmm. I know why this is happening. I know why we're rerouting. Like if they're like, we're rerouting because the weather. I'm like, oh, it's so bad. Like it would take the plane down. Like, yeah, it's yeah. just like I, I'm not. It's not something I have excelled in in life. So I don't uh-huh. know like the ins and outs. Really download Microsoft Flight Simulator. And learn <laughs> Star Star Star. Yeah. 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 I said this sometimes when I'm on planes. I like to Google plane crashes. Yes, oh. you did. You talked about this already. And we okay, don't need to go sorry. back there. <laughs> Why? Because I think sorry, the odds of the plane again, but... actually oh, like right. crashing because I Googled a plane crash yeah. or make my chances even less. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever floats your boat, I guess. There. Um, Whatever flies your plane. He, he's watching those while simultaneously getting hard on oh, the plane. Stop, stop. So he only gets bonus on the planes. Yeah. <laughs> hundreds, hundreds. You're like the worst person to sit next to on a flight. You're just Googling plane crashes <laughs> with, with <laughs> a boner <laughs> erection. <laughs> People are like, this guy has some issues. Yeah. I, want to, I want to put on a damn like uh air Oxygen mask. Mask. Yes, I want to put that on <laughs> so bad. I wish they would let you like just play Try with it. Try it out. Play just, with like, it. Every like, time. Hey guys, we're feeling quirky. Like, <laughs> <laughs> it's just for fun because nobody ever gets to try these. We're yeah. gonna drop the mask down for you guys. And enjoy the oxygen. If I was ever on a plane and those masks came down, I would. That's the only time I would lose my mind. I am so chill. It just means the cabin pressures, like yeah. Oh yeah, the cabin. Are you kidding me? If I see those things, I know that looks dire. I am. That is the end of my life. Every time that they talk about it, the only thing I think of is the scene in Hook when the son is like playing with the baseball and Robin Williams is like deathly afraid of flying, and then his son like hits the baseball on the top of the thing and then the os- oxygen masks come down and then i remember that like as a kid i was like what are those I'm yeah gonna... it looks dark should we, should we start divulging our hot takes Aaron, do you want to yeah, 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 take yeah. the lead yeah okay my Sorry. first hot take is that i like the dentist <laughs> go on <laughs> i'm with you because you get free stuff. <laughs> I love a toothbrush. I also love my dentist. I feel like I take good care of my teeth, so I never really go in like anxious. I don't like, you know, drink Coca-Cola and like bad stuff. <laughs> right. Well, you know. So what? like I feel very confident that like when I go that like nothing will be wrong with me. But I will say that like when I did have a cavity, it kind of scarred me for the next time I ever yeah. went back because I was like, if this happens again, like I will literally we'll just live with a cavity because I hated the feeling of getting it filled. Like what you're just awake and they're drilling in your mouth. I felt yeah. trapped. Yeah. Your brain shakes from the drill yeah. and you, yeah. It's I do think that if I like had ongoing dental issues, I probably wouldn't like the dentist mm-hmm. as much, but I just like, you know, I go in, I get my teeth cleaned. I like the way they feel. I like the free stuff. My dentist also gives us <laughs> tickets to flappers. So <laughs> which is a comedy, comedy club. club. <laughs> um, and yeah. I, like I love that take. Thank you. Yeah, it's a pretty good one because I feel like most you, people dislike the dentist. I love you. Don't go to the dentist. What are you talking? I go twice a year, every year. What do you <laughs> oh, mean? I've I never had a cavity. Dentist. I go back when I'm home in New Jersey. See, that's it. Okay. Because yeah. I've just um, never heard you mention. Be like, I, I have live a dentist at the appointment. dentist. You say I live at the dentist. You did. You did for like two years. You were at I the did. dentist every other week. Because well, yeah. you had Invisalign too. It was just there was a lot of things. Going that's on. I don't envy that. But like growing up too, going to the dentist. I think we talked about this. Like my dentist had like. Pinball machine, N64. Oh my god! The waiting okay, room was sick. was a blast, and then your teeth feel super clean. <laughs> uh-huh. And I always got like a reassurance <laughs> from the doctor too, like no cavities, you're doing yeah. great. Big fan of the dentist. Also, I feel like you you're taking care of your teeth, like if you're actually flossing and stuff like mm-hmm. that. Oh, and yeah. like, good job. Yes, it's so, like you go in and you're like, oh, will they notice? Will they notice? And like. <laughs> Be like, good, <laughs> good girl. <laughs> Give me a piece of candy. Yeah, yeah, I like everything about the dentist except paying for it. Oh. 
Yeah, because okay. it's, it's always really... like kind of expensive. You're yeah, like, it, it was that much. How much is it for your like? Well, every cleanings aren't bad. Done, I I've just yeah. I've spent a lot of yeah. money on my teeth. That's well, you've been good recently, right? Most of your dental woes are behind you. Yeah, I have a cle- I have to do a cleaning though, like next week. Mm. Does that going in a few weeks? Every day. Um, Every uh, yeah, day. I, now I'm a bed flosser, which is a little gross, but it, I like, realize it it's better the... if I'm just like watching TV and I keep my uh, little floss things, uh, little sticks, sticks, and then I just do I that while I'm watching TV anymore. as like a use fidget the string. Thing. Yeah, yeah I because use the, the string. sticks, it's oh. hard for me to get because when I do the string, I'm literally like shoot shoot on each tooth a to violin like, and yep. get everything out <laughs> i feel like i can't do that with a stick as much oh, or especially in the back i don't know the mm. reason i started flossing though. i saw a tom hanks interview like 10 years ago and they were like so tom if you could go back to like the beginning of your career and give yourself some advice what would it be and he goes floss your teeth every day yeah and i was like okay tom hanks giving advice <laughs> like i thought it was gonna be about acting or like career and he was like floss your teeth every day and i was like damn oh if God. tom hanks this super rich like actor guy wishes he flossed. I'm not gonna let that be a problem for oh me. God. God. So I've been flossing every day. It's the best. Well, when I had Invisalign, I had to floss like ten times a day, and then that got me in like a really ten times a day. Well, yeah, I was like really good about Invisalign because like I know some people that just like will go out eat and then put it back in without like brushing their teeth and like stuff like that. Yeah. I was like very. Okay, I wash my teeth in the morning, put my Invisalign in. If I eat, I brush my teeth and floss. Because your teeth are like all shifted and moving. So it's like, I don't want it to be stuck. And then I'm wearing a retainer. And then that's just like yeah. gross. Food's captured in there. So yeah, I flossed. I would say like r- realistically more so like four times a day I was Damn. flossing my teeth. So then that made me like afterwards be really mm-hmm. good mm-hmm. at it. Yeah, I, I have, like, have been pretty bad the past like few months. But... It's on and off for me. I love yeah. flossing because I feel good doing it. But... If I, I'm just too lazy sometimes. Yeah. I'm like, oh, I'll Especially do it in the morning. Like, when you <laughs> Let's go English now. Yeah. <laughs> Don't cab at the teeth. <laughs> We're so American. <laughs> well, speaking of Tom Hanks, I have a hot take. Oh, yes. I was going to ask what's About your... About Tom Hanks. Well, has anyone seen Elvis? No. no. The movie? No, actually, I know. Uh, I my hot take might not matter then. Well, let's see here. Oh, I was... thought I could not fucking stand his character in Elvis. I didn't even know he was in it. Well, he plays um his manager. Oh. But... So he kind of narrates it too. It's narrated by him at the beginning, sometimes in the middle end. And his voice, I literally, I don't know how to explain it. I'm sure it's similar He's to like Elvis's. This old guy, yeah, right? no, yeah. literally yeah. the whole time. He has an time, accent like, like that? Yes. Yeah, so, oh, yeah. You haven't seen the trailer? He uh, plays like a southern guy. Right? I literally did no, not know he was. He's like an old Jewish man. <laughs> He, yeah, he's not from Tom America. Hanks? That's why he never let Elvis tour uh, outside of America because he couldn't go. So he like kind of tricked him oh, to stay in Vegas. Spoiler alert! <laughs> <laughs> but I swear his voice is like, then Elvis walked in. It's like, I can't. And I feel like I'm watching a little kid's witch movie. Or I think I have, read, I have read some takes that people are not oh, liking Tom Hanks and I Elvis. I was like, I... I honestly like, kind of forgot about it, but when I was watching it, I was like, I don't think I could watch this again because of this. But I loved the movie. It was just Tom when Hanks. When do you think it's going to be out on me? streaming service? Oh, <laughs> I would soon. guess in like a, a couple, two more weeks. Yeah, okay. Oh my God. Two, it's a, I, I tell you still to watch it. It's I just, just two hours like and 45 it. minutes. The guy, so the, the guy, the actual manager for Elvis was super smart. I don't know how they portray him in the movie. The coolest thing I've heard about him is there was like, Elvis was obviously the most popular guy. But there was like obviously people who hated Elvis Mm -hmm. and there was like this like culture of like, fuck Elvis, we hate Mm -hmm. Elvis. And he noticed this and he was like, well, I'm going to make money off this, too. So he made posters and pins and patches Mm -hmm. that said, I hate Elvis. And then he would sell those outside of Elvis concerts. So he was making money off the haters and on Elvis himself. TJ Emonite literally did that. Really? They made a t-shirt that had like all the terrible things that people would say about (laughs) them. About Emonite? Wow. Wow. Damn, that's brilliant. Yeah. Brilliant. Well, speaking of showbiz, I, I have... <laughs> uh, We're just really interrupting the Emmy, everything. The, em- the Emmy uh, nominations came out. I think Sydney Sweeney does not deserve an Emmy nomination for White Lotus. I oh, thought she gave either. a oh, very lackluster yeah. performance. Like, what? I can't believe... Her character was just like, whatever. No, I did not even remember she was in it, to yeah. be honest. Yeah. No. She got an, an Emmy. No. An Emmy nom. Huh. For sitting on a beach chair for yeah. three yes, episodes. Reading, Pretending to read a book. Yeah. Like, I would get it for Euphoria. Oh, absolutely. She was yeah. amazing, Euphoria, but... like Incredible. What? She deserves to win out of... Like, yeah. I so now she everyone. has, like, two or three, like... Emmy nomination. For I don't Lotus. think that she'll get the White Lotus one, though. No, I don't think so. But I just wish somebody else like could have gotten that for <laughs> my, a girl. My who hot take: Sydney Sweeney's not hot. <laughs> yeah, right. I know. I don't know. She's kind of 
wearing out on me oh, right now. Oh, I'm, I'm not too that... saturated. I guess, I guess so. Just after that nomination, I was like, get. Get out of here. <laughs> Get off. out of here. But all respect to you, Sydney. I, she may be watching or listening. Yeah. yeah I'm sure she All respect, is. but like, I thought your. I can't even like, look in the camera. <laughs> I just all thought respect. your performance at White Lotus wasn't that good. Not your best. Not your best. And I don't think you deserved an Emmy nomination. Yeah, Take. interesting. I mean, I thought she was like fine. I would just would not think that it, at all. I mean, if I, did um the the hotelier guy. Did he get nominated? Oh, that guy was such a good actor. So. He's like the only one who deserves an Emmy in the name. whole show. I don't know his name, so... He's like Australian. Yeah, I know. I, I just... I didn't even look at the pictures of the people. I just read what I recognized. It's so crazy. Like, I loved White Lotus, but it was truly like a show about nothing. Yeah. And like... Nothing happened. The fact that the whole category is like swept by the cast of the White Lotus was <laughs> honestly shocking to me. I agree. Was that, was that, was that like, one what? season, right? It was only yeah. the one season. I feel like right. that came out so long ago, too. Now yeah. they're about to do yeah. another one, but it's like a whole different type cast, of cast yeah. at a different hotel. What's that hotel? called? Like an, an anthology? And then, when it's like a different oh, like yeah. a true yeah. detective. Yes, Met Gala. That's <laughs> all I can think of. <laughs> the anthology. Yeah. I mean, the anthology. Of... <laughs> I feel uh, like yeah, My Lotus is pretty forgettable. It was good, but I haven't really thought about it. It was then. fun yeah. as it would come out yeah. each week to look forward, but I would never recommend to somebody like you got to watch White yeah. Lotus or binge that. Yeah, you know, like if someone was like, "What are you watching right now?" I'd be like, "White Lotus. You should watch it." But like, you don't have to. Yeah. Interesting. Um, I would say going off of hot people in Hollywood, a hot take of mine that I stand strongly behind is that Timothy Chalamet, not oh, hot. We, yes, what? we had this conversation on our podcast. I don't Wait, see it How? What are we talking about hot wise? The thing for me is like, I like scrawny, like not buff men, but like, I don't know what the, I just am like, mm, I don't get it. Have you seen Call Me By Your Name? Yeah. You saw that when it came out. Mm hmm. Okay. I will say I, I really thought, thought like you were gonna be like no, no and like, I mean like I, I think you should have watched his like rise to fame a I little bit more intimately and I think you would have Yeah, fallen. I think he's like an attractive man, but like I think the hype is like so over the top that I'm like I don't see it. Yeah, I'm the same way. I thought that about Austin Austin Butler too, but then mm. after I saw Elvis, I'm like, I get it. Oh, I yeah. get it. Austin Butler is really hot. Yeah. I feel like I told you guys. Okay, this. I get okay. Austin Butler, that's like a hot like guy yeah it's like a stud like a brad pitt Le guy. leonardo yes, DiCaprio type yes, of guy stunning. but mm. timothy chalamet is like that uh johnny depp kind of yeah like, yeah, like edward angular. scissorhand not johnny depp edward scissorhand <laughs> <laughs> yes yes which like i love an emo guy like, no, like I, it's obsessed like, with edward scissorhand like objectively he would be the the guy for me uh-huh but like I, it doesn't do it for me have you seen him speak french <laughs> that would literally make it worse. Oh, I think it's just. I think he's cool. I think also, Timothy Chalamet is very cool. Also, everyone now compares him and the girl to, uh, from Stranger Things because they both have the like box shape oh, face, yeah. and like now that's all I see when I look at him. Also, I I still think he's gonna be around. He's gonna be here to stay. Oh yeah. Well, What's he been in recently? Um, he's Dude. filming the Willy Wonka like origin story called Wonka. Oh, a horror film. <laughs> and Dune Part Two. Oh, oh I never yes. saw Dune. Oh, Dune is amazing. Maybe because he was in it. <laughs> You're like, I can't look at yeah. it. Dune is so good. I, I don't think he's that good of an actor. Ooh. What? You've never seen Call Me by Your Name? No, have you? that's the only one I haven't seen. But I just, I feel like he's like one of those guys where it's it. I just see Th Timothy Chalamet. As well, what's the other one he was screen, in? Like, like Lady Bird. Lady Bird. He's oh, very yeah. He was in that one role. with a oh, um, beautiful boy. Yeah, the where he's a drug addict. Yeah, that was really good. Um, he's I in like Hot Summer Nights. That's not a good movie. Um, I don't know. I think he's a pretty good actor. He gives me like Jesse Eisenberg vibes. Like it's just like when you see Jesse mm -hmm. Eisenberg in a movie, it's like that's not the character. That's Jesse Eisenberg. When I see Tim Timothy Chalamet just, in a movie, it's just Timothy Chalamet. Uh, in a movie. But I feel like Jesse Eisenberg kind of plays the same character in a totally. lot of stuff. Like he's Michael Sarah, same vibe. Yeah. yeah. Same no, but person. he doesn't. He's his character. He plays. Like a hopeless romantic in the Woody Allen movie, and then he plays oh, Mark Zuckerberg. Yes. Like it was, felt more of like an impression than it did a performance. <laughs> that's what I'm. Anyway, look at us. Just critique. Uh, that's hot yeah. takes. <laughs> We're doing hot, hot takes. takes. Yeah, I agree. Um, I, I have another. I have a hot take. Okay, okay what? Let's hear it. Double texting, not a big deal at all. Fucking text away. It doesn't matter when you people are like. I've just been. You know, everyone's going through breakups and stuff now, and I'm like hearing about people dating and everyone. Is just over complicating these this idea of a double texting in terms of dating. Yeah, like in terms of dating. Like, like if you text a girl and you're like, "Hey, do you want to go out?" And she doesn't text you back. You'll text her again. I mean, I I'm not saying I would do that, but no, I'm, I'm saying it's not a big deal if you. Okay, do. yeah, no, I was just 
kind of clarifying. Yes, I didn't but that's really exactly know. correct. Yes, okay. like I, I and I have done it and I will do it. I don't care. Like it doesn't then matter. I'll do it again. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't think it's a big deal. At I all. admire it. I admire that approach. We are we only talking about girls or just texting people in general? Uh, to any any like. I mean, I was thinking about this in dating because I know people are so scared to like, well, I texted him on Friday and like it was like a good night text, but oh, like he yeah. didn't text me back. Like, I don't want to double. Who gives a hoot? Just double text. It doesn't hoot. matter. It depends on your social circles, though, in like w your environment. I don't, I don't know. think I could do I mean, it. don't be a crazy don't, person. Uh, but I'm saying then p if people are hanging out and you're not there and they're texting and you're being like kind of crazy, they're going to be like, dude, what is this guy's deal? And they're going to oh, be you like, mean like oh, in a I friend know. group. People are going to bond over like your craziness. Okay, but like and him, okay, you can't call him crazy for double texting. If I he's know, just like, hey, just wanted crazy. to like check in. It's right. not like he's being like, answer me, bitch. <laughs> right, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Where are you? It's now like it's one fifty two. Yeah, I think there's like a, a balance yeah, that like you in, can but have. But in a friend group, yeah, like let's yeah. say your friends are going out for a party and someone told you about it and then they didn't answer you and you're like, well, I guess I'm not invited. It's like maybe they just saw it and like you because I yeah. feel like we all do this where we see a text and we're like, I'll get back to that later. I can't do it yeah. right now. And then you forget. And then it's like, oh, why don't you come to the party? And it's like, well, I texted you, but it's like you could have just sent. It's okay to just be like, oh, excuse me, did you see your yeah. phone? Like, no, I'll literally text be like, hello. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Triple text, though, I think you're done. That's okay. Yeah, yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you are done. done. I think triple text is then like. it's like, take a hint. Exactly. Yeah. But a double text, I've just heard okay. so many people recently give me like anxiety oh. that they had about like, well, I just don't want to double text. Like, I don't want to be that guy. And it's like, it's okay to text someone. A second time. Can't They're, you unsend texts now? Oh, with I think new, that's a new thing. Yeah. Which, like, does, it, does it actually unsend it or does it just yes. delete it off? It. So if both people have what? the newest iOS, yeah, if you have the new that's iPhone. That's so shady. I know. Yeah, this is going to be a whole is. new dynamic <gasps> of like texting etiquette. Because yeah. you can also edit it's text like messages. It's like literally too. giving edited, people though. the power to be bad. <laughs> or like I imagine. think you can only delete it within the first 15 minutes though so it's not like you can go uh, and send a message and then like, the next day delete okay. it because like if you send like some fucked up stuff to someone that like you hate and then like delete it delete and then, it and then, well, just and then they're online. just like you know I, I also like you know among other things like yeah but yeah that's crazy but I do think also they I think you can also mark text as on red now with the new iPhone yeah. 2. Yeah. I feel like Matt, do you have a hot take? Um, yeah. Oh, well, we know you don't have it written. In I your don't phone. know if it's really a hot take. <laughs> it's just something that drives me crazy. Or like, I get really like hung up on like people's interiors in their houses and like hating. <laughs> no, I love like, that. Though. If you buy like a like a coffee table and like I know it's bad, it's so hard for me not to like think about it <laughs> there's some people who just have bad taste there's nothing more than like someone who buys something and then they like look at this new thing i got don't you think it's hip and you're like no, no. because they think they're going like way too trendy and i think you should like buy they go to something urban outfitters and they buy something like yes. isn't this super unique and original and you're like you got it at urban outfitters <laughs> yes. it's not that cool it's too like either date or too trendy it's just like that very kind of target fast furniture oh yeah i don't like when people exactly. buy it because it's something that will be out of style within a year and it's cheaply made. And when you even try to resell it, nobody's going to want to buy it. So I'm, you, I'm, I'm thinking all of you're these like really critical about like, I remember like after I got married, I was like, Oh, I wonder what Matt thinks. <laughs> you, like, me, you were curious. Yeah, though. I know because, because you are like so overly like aware of things, but not in a bad way. I'm saying I'm it's just like, you know, about yeah, like, some... you know what you like. And like with that, it's like, now I want to walk you through my home and be like, Oh, what's good. What's bad. But I mind my own business. Like, no, I know. But it's like, I think you should just tell people if they want to know. Okay. Yeah, he you told me. Help. You remember, you're like that thing looks a little 2016. I was like, <laughs> I, I, I did, I did, I did. But like, I, I agree, it totally does. Yeah. I'm like whatever. Uh, okay. Yeah. I but it's only like will you also have what... to then just like like I hate farmhouse style. Like people who have like coffee fur. No offense. Like coffee fur. Like signs oh, that's like, like that. That's co that's um farmhouse. Like, yeah, like yeah. most people who have like, yeah, it's like oh, very okay. farmhouse. Like I hate it. I'll like you know grit my teeth and be like cute. Yeah. But like hate love, it love, but that's first. just everyone's individual like styles at the same time you also follow and like are interested in yeah. interior design where you're not just coming at it from a place of like it's just your opinion like that girl page on page youtube was sell wassel yeah. was yeah. that i mean, can i give her a shout out sure yeah if you are ever yeah, interested in interior <laughs> if you're ever interested in interiors like should you get something or what kind of like i wouldn't call it trends but just to have a good eye when it comes to your interior space Watch her YouTube channel. She breaks down like 
I don't know, famous people's houses, what's in their homes, Ooh. trends that are really bad, ones that are good and like you should explore. She's awesome. I love her commentary and she'll help you see things in a new light. Uh, that actually sounds like something I would thoroughly enjoy. So yeah. thank you. You should meet her. She lives in LA. Yeah. She could totally yeah. come over and help you. <laughs> He's like, you need to read your house. <laughs> and there I, it is. No. <laughs> no, like, your place help is you. fine. Your place is fine. <laughs> no, your, your interior is fine. Thank you. Fi it's a fine. You, you've, it's done a it, you've done it with me with clothing too. Where like I'll I'll like buy like a plaid <laughs> shirt that's like 2011 like plaid and you'll just Matt will just be like get rid of it <laughs> <laughs> I also know you well enough to no, where I, I know. know I'm not being mean I and love I'm being it. funny I love yeah. also you. I have to say I hate this shirt though. I like it like oh, I'll like, take it off your hands I'll wear that I feel like I look like in a barbershop quartet like, <laughs> sure, I'm about to have like a singing vibe. telegram like, no. I, I would never think that looking at it but now that you said it it does okay cool but it's, I think like, it's so a good summer you look I, like you should be on the like Italian coast like sipping an Aperol spritz ciao <laughs> I, 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 I will say I appreciate like when people have opinions about things because some some things like I my brain just doesn't even work for like I would have no idea that like this couch is not in style or whatever so I like having people like Matt around who will be way. like this is Mom. like pointed out let me know yeah. I can't fix it on my own like Matt's been telling me these shirts are great I won't just bought four of them because it's great they're really good where are they from Abercrombie and Fitch Ooh, oh, nice. So, Pete, yeah, that's my hot take is a lack of taste drives me insane. If I could. No, that's fair. Yeah. Because yeah. we, we always laugh about um, what is it when our moms would do like a not Mediterranean, but um, what's the like grapes? Oh, oh, oh yes. Style. The whole like wine, kitschy mid 2000s, yeah. like wine. Yeah, but it's uh, called something specific, I oh, feel like. Um, like Tuscan, yeah, like yes. Tuscan. Yes. Tuscan like that kitchen. Tuscan touch. <laughs> oh, like my whole house growing up was like that. It's such our era. I yeah, feel just like, mid two thousands. Like, I had those plates that had all the fruit around. Yeah, yeah. 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 I just because it, it's just they literally served that interior to that generation. Yes. You go eat, pray, love on this. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, and I just think with anybody, it's your interior, your space. Don't immediately buy into what like. People but some are people, serving you also have to realize people to you, don't like, care like you do. I guess they just yeah. want it to be th easy. But I'm like, express yourself. Think yeah. about it. It's your home. I don't know. <laughs> Matt's like, you're tacky and I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> I think I just like look back in the past of things that I'd buy into. And I was like, gosh, I was just chasing the trend and I wasn't thinking for myself. So, yeah, mm -hmm. it's kind of hard not to sometimes, though, because it's like. Yeah. yeah. Also, like whatever you can change, you can you can change your hair, you can change, change your clothes, clothes, and you can buy new furniture whenever the hell you want. It's the way it goes. Miley Cyrus song. Yeah. Oh. Well, it's Anna Montana, but <laughs> who's next on the hot take? I um, think Aaron. I have next. one. Okay, let's hear it. Sorry. Okay, my hot take: pineapple on pizza is good. <laughs> You're not wrong. I yeah, don't think it's good, I eat it. but I, I don't think it's bad. I would eat it in front of me, but I would not order it. Oh, I love a Hawaiian pizza. Yeah. You would put it on the order at a party? No, because I'm aware enough to know that not everyone likes it. <laughs> mm. Do you like, like the ham on it too? Uh-huh. Okay. That's a part of it, right? Yeah, I love that. <laughs> I, well, I like, started uh, thinking of something where I'm like, I guess it could be a hot take, but I'll add on I to it. I love Hawaiian pizza. It's like one of my favorite pizzas. Papa John's Hawaiian pizza? Never is... had Papa John's. Really? Yeah, I don't like really eat like fast food pizza other than like Domino's. Hell yes, yeah, sis. Papa John's mm. is the best, but I don't like supporting Papa John. No, Domino's oh. is the best, I think. Domino's is hands down the best. Like, like fast food yeah. pizza. Dude, Papa John's got a little something. I haven't there. had it in so long, I can't remember. They put the peppercini in it, man. Ooh, I don't they like peppercini, the little, the little table to keep all uh, the... <laughs> the slices don't, together. Doesn't like, everyone do that? Pizza Hut does it. Domino's, I don't think, does the little... Oh. They don't, no. Thing yeah. in the middle. But... Uh, with Papa John's pineapple pizza, okay. I think is like no problem with that. Ooh, I could eat that try. all day with the it's like Canadian bacon on it. Yeah, man, like eat ham. that up. It's either they either do ham or Canadian bacon. Mm -hmm. I'm more of like a ham gal. Oh. I just want to say one. Oh, oh go. Well, I'm just surprised because I feel like that pineapple pizza gives me acid reflux because it's so acidic. Oh, all pizza gives me acid reflux. Oh, uh, well, because the it's tomato. a few slices of pineapple, Carly. You're not, <laughs> yeah, like, but you're I not know. eating like, a whole pineapple. I know, they but they come like the this, mix. The full but pineapple slice. has that enzyme that like eats flesh. Uh, it eats the lining of your mouth. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, like if, I always get kinkers after I eat pineapple. Because there's an enzyme that eats, like, <laughs> if you take a piece of chicken and you put it in raw pineapple overnight, it will disappear. 
It will just the eat pineapple? Uh, okay. No, no, the chicken. Oh, on a microscopic <laughs> level, I don't think it's. It can't just like disappear. No, it like eats the flesh, and it like when Overnight, you're eating though, like yeah. the chicken, it's gone. Yeah, I think, the so. ate it. I think so. Ate I think so. There's an enzyme that like pi that's why pineapple like fucks people up like in their mouth and stuff because it's like there's an enzyme that like eats flesh. When you're eating pineapple, pineapple is eating you back. Whoa. I love flesh eating pizza. <laughs> Pineapple's not like a top tier fruit for me, I yeah. will say. You know what I do love as a topping, and this is my hot take, y'all. I not even as a topping. Is it anchovies? I fucking love them. You disgusting. You love anchovies. I hate it. I love disgusting. Them. Yeah, you you no, said no, no, recently no, no, no. like you just eat them out of the jar. Out of the tin. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's a little uh, little hidden bed. secret midnight snack. Oh, <laughs> just yo. going down. Hop one of an anchovy. You squeeze a little lemon on there. Dude, I see like the future. <laughs> I see the future on anchovies, man. Dude, I feel like I, I need to try one. It's insane. It's, they're so good. No, I've definitely had that. But like, if I get a Caesar salad, I'm always like, it's not, it doesn't come with anchovies, right? Or the dressing's not made with anchovies. No, I, yeah. And sometimes I don't trust like anchovies from Domino's, though I have ordered it, but then I always like feel weird. I would weird. absolutely never order an anchovy from Domino's. <laughs> no shade to Domino's. They are the supreme pizza place, but like, mm -mm. <laughs> too sketchy. It's like the same reason like I wouldn't eat like fish from McDonald's. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. Do you like, like pickles and like Love olives, pickles. like salty things? In general or on yeah. pizza? No, in general. Uh huh. I think you might like anchovies. I don't know. Does it, does it have a fishy taste? No, it tastes like it tastes like I feel like it's like a mix between olives and pickles and like. Oh, I know. I would say it's like fish. It's like very salty. I mean, maybe salty, I like yeah. it. I don't, I'm not, love I don't salt. like love salt. Mm. Like I'm a but very. It's like it's an explosion of flavors <laughs> in your mouth. It's just it's like <laughs> a a taking like nothing a, on my tongue. It's like a whippet of taste. <laughs> oh, <laughs> of taste. You're just like. <sighs> That's what really gets Matt off. <laughs> oh, yeah. That, so I love anchovies. That, I feel like yeah. Could be a hot take. I'm salivating now. Oh my god. Me too, but in like like I'm Gross about way. to puke. <laughs> you know when like you're about to puke and you get that like oh, like, yeah. thing in your yeah. mouth? You're gonna have a problem. The water. Just like, uh. I have one. Okay. I hate and I just don't and I know this isn't for everyone. This is my hot take. Respect my respect me for saying this. <laughs> respect please. my take. Um, but I hate when people post quotes, like inspirational quotes are like, even if no one in your life tells you like I'm proud of you. Cause I'm like, to me that means absolutely nothing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I actually it makes me feel worse seeing I'm like Emma, if you're listening, she doesn't mean it. <laughs> no, she knows how I feel. Yeah. <laughs> my friend does it all the time, but I just don't I don't get anything from it. I feel like it's so empty. I see people post stuff on Instagram stories. Even like, like having it in your doing, home. Yes, in your home, I'm like, you just got this because it's trendy, like yeah. whatever. But even, I, I feel like it like speaks to, like their insecurity or something. I like think it, that's feels what it, is. it feels fake. It feels fake, and they have like a hole in them, and that quote like touched them in a way. Yes. But they want to share it now to so be like, I figured it out because I found this quote. I kind have of a, a thing. specific you know I mean? example. I know a person who's currently like, go I don't know the full details, hometown drama, but like clearly going through like a divorce or like a separation and she just has been posting the like you'll come out stronger when the days are hard like every day there's like a new quote and i'm like okay so clearly you're going through something <laughs> yes, yes. So oh i can smell it yeah. uh, off and some sometimes books. i think people do it to like subtweet or like they're doing it as if they want attention from a specific person. Yeah. Like they'll post quotes like she will like if a girl gets dumped, she'll post a quote of like she emerged stronger because of her <laughs> yeah. whatever. No, and you're yeah, like, yeah. okay, is this the ex boyfriend supposed to see this and be like, damn, I missed yes, out on yes. a good one? Yes. Stronger. Yes. Oh, no. I always think that when I'm looking at certain people's stuff, I'm like, this is for somebody yes. else. Yes. Like, 100%. Or, or everything that they're yeah. posting, you just see it. I go, this seems performative in a way yeah. or yes. that they're just trying to grab someone else's attention yeah but even ones that are like you're, do you're doing your best today i'm like how do you know it's so empty to i'm me. actually not yeah i'm like bitch i've been in bed for six hours yeah. i don't think i'm doing anything like when, when someone pretends to be an inspirational speaker yes like they're assuming the role like you know what today i'm going to post something and i'm going to change some lives today it's those yeah those bother me actually more than like she emerged stronger because those are like i can tell they're specific i feel like when they're meant for everybody i it feels empty to me and i don't like it what when, about the everything happens for a reason mm, i feel like that's 
fine. I, I think that's different. It's just it's just unoriginal. Like, oh yeah. Like <laughs> I, hey, I, everything yeah. happens yeah. for a reason, like good thinking, but like yeah. <laughs> I want something better. Yeah. It's yeah. Like, Why do I have to write this? Yeah. <laughs> it's just that you ran out of things to say. Yeah. It's just that's like the last thing you toss out. I hate people who like celebrity quotes that I know that the celebrity never said that. Oh, Marilyn that's Monroe. That's really ones. niche. Like, I don't know. Like, Joe you know? Bumpus will like... share like a quote that's like Jim Carrey saying this like really inspirational thing. I see I'm like, what you're saying. He never said that. They just put a picture of Jim Carrey and yeah, there's yeah. this quote. That's be- that became a huge thing during like Black Lives Matter and like during the pandemic. So many people were sharing like misquotes from like black people most people being like trump supporters being like look he said this but it was like shit they never yeah. said yeah oh. i saw that the whole pandemic i that's the there's the first time i saw that it was a picture of abraham lincoln and the oh, quote God. was you can't trust everything you read on the internet abraham lincoln. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's really i'm like, like he said that but like people <laughs> were people were sharing it probably but that's like I, yeah. so true right <laughs> <It's> so dumb <laughs> yeah i think the most ones i hate are when people say like if if anyone hasn't told you today, I'm proud of you. Because I'm just like, oh my you? god, How? you no, don't even know not. me. <laughs> yeah. You know, like that. I I swear to God, you're it like makes me angry. Me. I don't know why. God, <laughs> um, I hate it. I have a hot take. Ooh, okay. There is never a reason to be a dick. Like mm. people, like I, I you see, on, <laughs> <Well>. <laughs> or like to just not be kind. Like when I see like these TikToks or videos, or even in person of like someone just accosting a cashier at a grocery <laughs> store, like. <laughs> just don't be a dick like there's no reason for I don't know you if to... that's like a hot take uh i mean there's people that are out there like no it's not a hot take what that's not a hot take is i feel it... like most people are like mm, that lady sucks but that but this is for that lady this is a hot take for that lady where she's where that so, lady who's screaming is like well <laughs> i come to this grocery store every monday <laughs> okay. and i expect the things to be here and it's like, like no lady like Okay, so it's a hot take for Karens. Okay, sure. Yes. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. For, okay, perhaps it's not the hottest. Of I takes. like that there are Karens out there because it's entertaining. <laughs> <laughs> I think I yeah. None awful. of you are getting customer service. I want a Karen yeah. can never a Karen can never hurt my feelings. <laughs> <laughs> but I think I want to like go at it with one. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I want to round. I would round him up and put him in a put him in a fucking truck. Yeah. To, 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 to just oh, get I just want to talk to them. I want to like. <laughs> I want to go at it with one. Yeah. Yes. Can we set this up somehow. Yeah. Anyone video knowing game. Karen? I want like Karen simulator. <laughs> 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 Honestly, you should trademark it. You have it. to serve, like, you're like a <laughs> waiter. And then you have to be really mean. Yeah, there's all different environments. There's an airplane one. Yeah. <laughs> you know, they have those restaurants where the people are mean to you or whatever? Yes. They should oh, do it the dicks. other way where, like, they're all nice. Karen's? But, no, but, like, you have to be mean to, to the waiter. Oh, oh. Yeah, that <laughs> so would, traumatizing. That we, it would, it would, yeah, maybe. The restaurant would be, like, called Karen's, like, yeah, cafe. Yeah, like, only yeah. Karen's cafe. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> like it has, like, the or, 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 or wait, it's like a regular restaurant, but they have paid people come in like six times a day to like scream at waiters and stuff. Oh, like, and it'd experience. be like a show. It'd be like a show, yeah, a Karen better. show. Yeah, yeah. time Karen's for the Karen <laughs> matinee. <laughs> <laughs> wait, what's the thing? Um, oh fuck, I can't think. Uh, burlesque, Karen burlesque <laughs> show. <laughs> Just a full Karen themed restaurant. No, it's time for Karen to get mad at the waiter. <laughs> what do you think? The That's Karen good. will be when we are <laughs> like the Karen name. age. Yeah. Like <laughs> Je- Jessica's. Uh, it's got to be something like that. Like <laughs> Michelle. Because Chad had a comeback. Chad used to be the negative name for a guy. Oh, oh, that's right. Like and a Chad. Yeah. Like this guy's like a banking bro. Like he's just a Chad bro. But like now. Sarah. Okay. Yeah. Like yeah, a- probably. I lean biblical. Biblical and Jason. Like, will Karen have a comeback like Chad, though, where Karen becomes like a, oh my God, that was so Karen of you. I don't think so. Karen's I feel just like Karen cross. has been stapled and sizzled yeah. into our brains. Karen Alexa, too. That's a name you can't name your kid anymore. Alexa? Karen's yeah, because of the, oh, the Amazon speaker. Thing. I want to say it. Oh, yeah. Because it just She's like listening. activates things if you say it. Yeah. Uh, okay, Karen so Cafe. Wow. That's oh, sorry really to like. Bad. Sorry to rain on your parade. No, no, it's fine. I guess it's it, it's a fair point. It's not really a hot take because I yeah. guess most people would agree with that. But I, I've never experienced it like 
in person to the point where I felt like I can go and say something, but that is a fantasy of mine. Like I would love mm. to see a Karen accosting or not a Karen. We don't need to use that term, but like a person being a dick to like someone that's just working their job. I dream about me going up and, hey, how about you shut the fuck up and get the fuck out of here? Like, practicing in the shower every day. Maybe today's the day. Like if I ever saw someone yelling at like a gr like a grocery store clerk or like a waiter, I oh I God, would yeah. fucking destroy that person. Yeah. I would I would love it. You would. I, would. I think everybody has a gun and a knife, and so I do want to think I would say something. It, like, if it was like a woman or a child, but like if it's just some like some guy. Meaning, I if they were being awful to like a child or something, I'd be, oh. I would definitely step in. But like, if it's just some crazy guy being a dick, I actually would never just... step into a parent talking to their child. Like that no, is their. I don't mean that. Like I don't know. If I just felt like somebody was like really in harm's way, I would okay. say something. Okay. But if there's just someone being like outrageous in public, I don't. I don't know. I'm just scared they're gonna be like, shut up, and then stab me. <laughs> Shoot me. <laughs> just a ninja shut star, up. like through my head. Like, <laughs> You never know. <laughs> you never know. Oh. Um, yeah. Wow. Well, we can get into... Fan submissions? Yeah. yeah. Can Let's... I say one more? It's very short. Oh, yeah. 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 I just no. don't... <laughs> well, because, yeah. yeah. But I feel like I just don't care which way the toilet paper is. I feel like a lot of people oh. have opinions about that. Yep. I don't care. Okay. I don't what? ever really notice it. Mm. What it are you? It literally takes twice as long to get toilet paper if it's the other way. Which no, way? It has to under? be roll facing out, like, so you can yeah. pull yeah. from the top. But it takes the same amount of time. What do you mean? Does it, like, ruin your whole day if you go to I will switch it. I will switch it. Well, it depends on how, like, if you want to think of it like being fancy, like a nice fancy place where, like, when you top, go right. in, it's on the outside mm -hmm. and it's like, you know, yeah. pressed in. Like, it's nice. Well, the reason, well, okay, first of all, I've done the research on this. <laughs> the person who patented toilet paper rolls, on the patent, it shows the roll on the outside. Oh, okay, So you pull fair. it from the top. The reason why people started turning it inward is for two reasons. One, cats. <laughs> would go uh -oh. and like yeah. it makes it really easy for cats to just unroll the Can't whole they do thing it the other way no because when you roll it the other way it just keeps rolling up on itself oh and and little kids too like that's the reason why people started turning it inward oh i see what you're saying like, but it's much easier i see yeah just, Not just get like a bidet the part. and some wet wipes <laughs> true yeah but you, you never have to buy toilet paper if you again. want to sponsor Tushy. this podcast you can we stand yeah love well, a bidet i just want to throw that one in there because i feel like that's a big like i think that's good controversial you, so you thing. don't you don't notice it um, I feel like I notice it, but I don't have, I'm just like, oh, whatever. It's not the end of the, she's not going to flip it over. <laughs> yeah. I'm not going to Karen. Hey, Karen. <laughs> she's not dead. She's not fucking the Karen. toilet paper. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 you need to have someone go in the bathroom. Yeah. You need to go. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> have you still not gone back and switched that? <laughs> I've been watching you go back now. <laughs> I would love there. to watch you in a Karen simulator. Oh, That'd be please. the funniest thing to watch. Please. <laughs> Um, okay. I'll just go through. No particular order. <laughs> okay, the these first are emails. One. Right? Coffee smells like smoke. No. Mm, you have COVID. <laughs> yeah. I don't think so. Are these fan submissions? Yep. Okay. The only thing is, I will say, this like made me think of something. When I'm on airplanes, whenever they're like serving the coffee, I I never know that they're like actually doing it i immediately think someone near me farted because the coffee on airplanes <laughs> smells good. like farts yeah oh, <laughs> well, it's bad. you don't drink coffee, no, don't like, drink coffee. i mean i don't I it's don't. like old and burnt and they are using like recycled water and it literally yeah. smells like fart i think this person <laughs> may have probably grown up in a house where they were smoking caught like smoking oh, and drinking maybe, coffee yeah. and there might be like a wire crossed in that brain response. Yeah. interesting because that's just not that's just wrong yeah like, no i don't think i think strawberries maybe you're having a like stroke when you roll <laughs> yeah. Yeah. um okay football is boring well uh, i'd say that just because i don't know the sport I think objectively, no. Soccer's boring. I think soccer's so boring. Oh my gosh! Like that for that long for like two goals? Yeah, absolutely not. And like even on the TV, I can't tell where the ball's going. Oh my god! I say this all of the time. But baseball? No, baseball is equally as boring. Okay. But if you're there, it's more fun. Okay. Yeah. Like but I can't really watch kind of complicated though. Where there's like too many numbers on the board, and I'm like, what <laughs> is the score? Like, like <laughs> baseball? baseball games. I'm like, where's the score? It's, it's, it's like, like R H. Like, you're like, <laughs> me, me, me. I don't know. Runs and hits. <laughs> yeah. Well. Uh, yeah, but why do we even care about the Strikes. runs and the hits? Strikes. Tell you me where the, the base runs is. The score. Runs is the score. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Oh, that's it. Then why do we care about the hits? 
Because then you can kind of tell how good a team is doing, how many hits they're getting. Yeah. It's like hockey, do? like shots versus goals. Yeah. Shots on goal. Okay. I think football that is great, though. Football is couldn't be more entertaining, objectively. Even if you don't like it, like it's entertaining. You, can you stop and think a bit. There's like a moment where like what's gonna happen, it's and like, then it and happens. It's like constantly going. Mm-hmm. Basketball's no, like, a little too repetitive though uh, yeah. for me. I'm like, oh, we shoot, we shoot, <laughs> <laughs> we shoot. We shoot. We shoot. Yeah, yeah, like football. There's different plays and all of that. I don't know. I f- I feel like football to me is like the most entertaining sport to watch. It's also football is like on Sunday mornings. It's like the most ritualistic oh, yeah. American like. Even if you don't like football, or the Monday. culture, okay, or Thursday now too. <laughs> oh, but like, I don't know, if, like, when I think about football, I think about like all my friends, like watching it at someone's yeah. house. Yeah. There's like an event. There's a reason totally. to be there. And you can, isn't there like a fantasy you can then yes. be involved? Oh, I don't yeah. know if they do that for other sports, but I think they do think for, all fantasy sports, yeah. for all sports. Fantasy for baseball. Oh yeah. Boring. They play like oh, so many games. I love it's like a so ballpark. Yeah. Right? I love a ballpark. It's like a stage. Have you, like, uh, <laughs> Have you ever been to Fenway? What? Have you ever been to Fenway Park? Is that the Dodger Stadium? No, oh Fenway is God, Boston's that. baseball field. Red Boston? Sox. Oh no! It's like the yeah. only so like original sorry. like I feel like stadium. Yeah, there's still. Wrigley Field. You got the Yankees and the Yank- the Yankees like rebuild their yeah stadium right, like every field. other year. Yeah, Dude, we got to take a trip to Boston. I, I, I got to bring you guys to Fenway. It's like lit- oh my god! I remember like as someone who grew up doing that. It's like the like oldest ballpark and like ugh, it's just the best. And then I came to Dodger Stadium and I was like. <laughs> What the <laughs> fuck is this? Why Dodgers is bad? No, it's enormous. Oh, oh, oh it's oh, oh. so big. Like, there's no like nostalgia Culture. in it. Yeah, no, literally, it's, it's just like, just, like it's just building. there. Yeah. yeah, where Fenway's like you can feel the history and the like, fever pitch. Yes, oh the my PSD god, is it true moment. that that movie <laughs> shifted the curse? <laughs> I don't. The I, movie with Jimmy Fallon did that and movie Queen come Latifah. Out before the curse was reversed. Or not Queen Latifah. I don't remember who was in that movie. Uh, Drew uh, Jimmy Fallon. Drew Barrymore, he's obsessed so with the, the Red, Red Sox. Sox, and she just starts dating him, and, and she's not like, sure. you can't be this obsessed with the Red Sox. It's funny, because they start dating off-season, so she doesn't know, and then mm. a couple months later, starts. yeah, he goes all, like, the practice games and stuff, and then it gets season really crazy. tickets, and then he's like, you have to come to every game, and then it's it, really like, ruins their relationship. Yeah, but there's some historical significance where they say that fever pitch wow. caused a shift. Oh, I'll have to look into that. In a good way yeah. for the Boston Red Sox. I don't remember when that movie came out. I know. Even. I'm trying to think because I, I think it was 2004, maybe. Oh my god, maybe I then. Guess it was well, seven. Then that would kind of track. Okay, <laughs> um, here is this person's hot take. Their hot take is there's no point to getting engaged in this day and age, and they have a their reasoning. Okay, let's hear which it. Which I will read. Of course, there are cases where I get it, but 90% of the time, I think it's just one unnecessary step before the wedding. The partners know that they will get married. They are talking about the wedding. That is already a finished story. Someone even chooses their engagement ring or at least drops hints. Some even hint at the place where they would like to be proposed to and in what way. I just don't understand if we already know everything. If we've already been together for a year or two or three years and you know that, I will say yes. Why don't we just get married then? Why is there a need for an engagement in that case? case and mostly that's the case if someone's been together for a short time and they haven't really talked about that topic and then that question is a complete surprise to the other partner where there is a possibility for an answer no okay then i get it i swear i'm not an unromantic person lol it's just that maybe i'd prefer that money from the engagement ring and the engagement party to go towards a more epic wedding and honeymoon and this girl is from serbia Oh, we've got a listener in Serbia. Wow, she did apologize. She was like, "If it's if it like doesn't make sense, I'm sorry." No, that was great English. I thought that was natively written. That was great. It was a girl. Yes, that Mm -hmm. was interesting. I thought that was a guy asking that question too. Yeah, it's a guy. I mean, a girl. I think that is an extremely hot take. That's very hot. I mean, it's an interesting point, but I think it doesn't really make sense because you have to plan a wedding. And you don't know that you're going to plan a wedding until you know that you're going to get married. And that's the whole point of getting engaged. You don't. It, yeah. My hot take. You don't sound that fun. <laughs> <laughs> I think it, she's it, just saying like if like I feel like so many people that like think about in like the 20s, the 30s, the 40s, like like literally that was like, oh, my God, when's he going to propose? Yeah. yeah. You know, and like now it's kind of like. Okay, like if we get married, like this is the kind of ring I want. This is the kind of wedding I want. And it's more like laid out in front of you. So I think she's just saying like, 
in that situation, like, you know, you're going to do it. So why does it matter? I don't agree. But and then in the other situation, it's like, okay, if you don't talk about it, then you can get engaged. But for me, it's like, it's still the fun of it. Like, it's still fun to get engaged, even if you know you're going to get married. Yeah. And especially people who, like, have been together for a long while. Like, they know they're going to end up together. But, like, you still want that romantic gesture and, like, to feel the, like, excitement of it. But not everyone does, which is also fine, too. Like, some people are just like, let's just fucking go do it. But, like... I, I agree with everything that you're saying. I think it's it's definitely personal dependent, but this girl, sure. yeah, just doesn't. I mean, just, she sounds like she just wants to let's sign the papers, get it yeah, over yeah, with. Yeah. I don't need. Uh, yeah, all respect to like what she <laughs> is thinking. It's an interesting idea and in looking at things. But yo, d- like no, but just be happy for people. Yeah. No, you're not going to shift anybody's mind. Yeah, you're not yeah, no. that way. You're going to be a buzzkill for everyone else. <laughs> just, I would really keep that opinion to yourself. <laughs> Because, I don't know, yeah. you're going to cross paths with the wrong person saying that. Yeah. Like, hey, you got engaged. Okay, weirdo. Like, yeah. Yeah. Okay. In this, this day and age, yeah. engagement? You won't, be, you won't be getting invited to the wedding at all. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I think I, I'm i here for engagement. I think it's a hot take. You you submitted a real hot one. Respect. It's a good, it's a good hot take, actually. The yeah. temperature in the room has risen. That, yes. that was a hot take. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Bacon. This is a hill I will die on. Don't get me wrong. I like bacon, but I think it should only be eaten by itself as a side. Hear me out. Whenever you put bacon on anything, pizza, burger, salad, etc., the entire meal ends up just tasting like bacon because the flavor is so strong. When I'm eating pizza, I want it to taste like pizza, not fucking bacon. It doesn't have a subtle enough flavor to add flavor to a meal without overpowering the whole thing. Don't even get me started on bacon wrapped vegetables. You will start to notice it now. The only exception is breakfast sandwiches and BLTs because okay. bacon is the main flavor in these cases. I guess that's like the point though. <laughs> like if I have something bacon, like I want to taste like bacon. That that almost had me for a moment I know. where I was like, great opinion. Never thought I about know. it. But I do like bacon wrapped hot stuffed jalapenos. Yes. Love one of those. Same. Bacon wrapped dates. Have you ever had one? No. Oh, you didn't have any at my wedding? <laughs> you had bacon wrapped yeah. dates. Oh my god, they're remember that. Yeah. so good. Yeah, and then there's like cheese inside, like ricotta. Oh my god, can we what get were that you again? Doing? I don't know. Like, I, was having, I was having enchiladas. What was that your wedding? Me- oh. Mexican tacos. Yeah, during the like happy hour though. Oh, I think I did have one, mm. and it was good. I was just drunk. Uh. <laughs> bacon, but bacon mac and cheese, though, man. I've never had bacon, so I can't weigh in on this. But oh, right. that's right. I have had turkey bacon, kosher turkey bacon, and it fucking slaps. It's amazing. Yeah, it's... Uh, but it's, I know. I love bacon. One day, maybe. Bacon has started giving me a really bad acid reflux, which is just so tragic. I want yeah. them to make, like, the Beyond... Bacon. Like, yeah, because, like, Beyond stuff and, like... uh impossible they only do like beef based things mm-hmm. and they haven't really done bacon yet i feel like that would be so hard i know but they imagine they it? do i don't think they do any <laughs> like no beyond bacon i don't think so i i think i don't think they do any like pork or pig products it's 2020 maybe they're kosher the I what's kosher i mean they probably yeah. it's just but maybe crazy. beyond I'm is like, kosher that doesn't beyond exist. is yeah <laughs> no i'm i no, okay <laughs> yeah, i mean like, like a bigger picture okay bake so what do we think you got some good points, but I, yeah, I think it's a good point, I guess. But I feel like I would never. I, not I want do the bacon agree, on it. though. It's like in some instances, people will put like a certain flavor in a dish, and it's like that's now the only thing that you can taste. Like if you have yeah. some like lemon vinaigrette, it's like now everything on this plate tastes like fucking lemon, and I, it's oh. just overwhelming. Like when there's, I I'd rather lemon. like separate flavors. Ooh, I love lemon. Me too. Um, like I'll make a salad and the dressing will be like a lemon, a lemon pasta. Please. Oh, see, yes. absolutely not. Yes, a lemon pasta. If I see lemon what? on a thing on a menu item, I will not <gasps> get it. Do you just not like lemon? I I don't like lemon, but it's one of those flavors. I don't like love it, but it's one of those flavors <laughs> that I just think like that's the whole dish. Is I'm just gonna take. It's like Wait, lemon <laughs> pasta. I, I know. I, I'm getting up. But it's like a faint. It's not like <laughs> a lemon just, cake. Why are you, are you losing your mind? It's just funny. <laughs> I just think it's funny. I love just picturing like, like you like eating like, a lemon pasta and being like, that's all I can do. <laughs> just fucking I, enjoy like it. A like just, no. yeah, yeah. <laughs> the it's kitchen's just, like, on fire. How, how often is this happening? When was the last time you had a pasta that was that was tainted by the lemonness? <laughs> like someone wanted to split a pasta and I like didn't and I didn't look at the menu close enough to see that it was a lemon pasta and I took one bite and I was like I'm not gonna enjoy this meal now because it's Dang. fucking lemon. lemon. 
Yeah. I think it's because like growing up, all the cleaning products were lemon scented. And like oh, I had smelled a lot of those growing up. And then I ate lemon and I was like, oh, this just tastes like cleaning product. Okay. Boom. And I think that there's a weird thing in my brain. But that, yeah, that makes sense. Well, speaking of stuff that all tastes the same, someone said their hot take is that all herbs taste the same, which I think is just herbs? wrong. Like rosemary and. Dill, cilantro. Yeah, no, no, oh, definitely not. You're, you're wrong. That's just yeah. wrong. <laughs> Rose, Actually, you're wrong. <laughs> Rosemary <laughs> is definitely. Oh, okay. Here's a question take for you guys. Do you believe in the cilantro gene? Yeah, because no. there are some. You don't. Be, you don't <laughs> no. believe in the gene. There's no. So... I just think that you're like annoying. <laughs> it <laughs> tastes <laughs> like soap. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, I know. It's like the new like cake is mo like oh, I hate the word moist. <laughs> yeah. Like I I don't. It's I don't find it interesting at all. <laughs> it's not. It's a personality trait. Like yeah, oh well, I taste soap. Yeah. yeah. I, <laughs> I have it. And if there's like cilantro in something, like I physically cannot eat it. Okay, but do you think it tastes like soap? I don't think it tastes like soap for me. It tastes like dirt. Okay. Like it tastes well, that's like the a... thing is, I feel like all of the sudden it just was like it tastes like soap, and then everyone's like, it tastes like soap. But I'm yeah. like, do you think it tastes like soap, or no. does it actually taste? I like think it soap? tastes yeah. bad. Like it tastes like yeah. someone put like if there's like an avocado dip and like people chop up cilantro and I'll eat it. It will like taste like, like guacamole. Yeah, like guacamole with cilantro. It tastes like someone took it, threw it in the dirt, and then put it back. In huh? the container, cilantro. Do you feel that way with like anything else? Only cilantro is, yes. is the only thing where I like eat it, and like my body is a physical reaction of like. No. <laughs> like I'm I, not joking. I, this is a real I thing. I don't believe that. I don't. This is a. I don't believe that. Like, like we could whip up some guacamole with some cilantro. I would, in it. We I mean, could and do we give it to you. You'd be like. <laughs> This is Becca's getting it. Yeah. <laughs> I just no. I we agree do it? with you to an extent, but then yeah. it's just funny. You like, yeah. you're like <laughs> it's the only thing we're all physically convulse. <laughs> I don't believe you. I'm you not know? gonna convulse, but I will. Seize. I will notice it like immediately. Like if there's cilantro on something. It's like the only thing I can. We should I might do a test. Goat cheese though, like goat cheese. Get that the oh. fuck out of my. Oh, face. I don't. I don't I like goat, goat cheese. cheese. Oh. I like goat cheese, but I, too. I similar to that where you can like you can like even a hint of goat cheese on something. It's just like, oh, I know it's there. I, th I can eat it, but I know it's like a similar. How do you guys feel about cottage cheese? Love cottage cheese. I haven't had it in a long time, but I think I like it. I don't think I like it that much. I know. I want to like it. It tastes like soap. <laughs> OK, <laughs> do you think I start? A There's a gene for people who don't like cottage cheese. <laughs> do you think the cilantro thing is either people just like it or they don't? Yeah, and then they just started saying it tastes yeah, like soap. Yeah, I don't know why. Yeah. I, I don't know if it is a gene thing. Like that sounds like it might be made up. But there uh, is a su substantial amount of people that have a really bad no I know. experience well, with cilantro. For some reason, I thought it was like a scientific fact. And who knows? I mean, I don't care. <laughs> it is, but <laughs> I just thought that it was. Like every time I order at a restaurant, I always say, "And is there cilantro on this?" And then if they no, say you yes, don't. Yes, I you do. Don't all, you don't. Every time you go. There's no cilantro. I, I, if it's like something that you might have cilantro in it, I will ask to confirm. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh. I thought you said like for anything. Oh yeah, on the pizza. Does this have cilantro on it? <laughs> Take Domino's. Can I get two large cheese? And there's no cilantro, cilantro. on that. <laughs> no. It's a... Yeah. I know. Sorry, I feel like I'm giving you a hard. No, time. no. Really but I'm just like I'm like no. I like being yeah. the punching bag. Oh, oh sad. No, stop. <laughs> we like you being. I'm not kidding. Um, okay, someone said this one that I thought was pretty interesting. Um, where did it go? Sprinkles are pointless. Taste wise, yeah. Yes. Yeah, they don't taste well. No, sometimes they, they have like, like a little sugary. Like I guess so. I mean, I like the aesthetic on... of them more than I like the taste. I like the texture of you know, like the circle yes. ball ones. Oh no, not that. What kind do you like? The pill shaped ones? Yeah. Oh no, they I, like I don't... melt a little in your yeah. teeth. Oh no, I don't. <laughs> and then like they that. like stay there, and then you're like picking it out of your teeth. Uh -huh. <laughs> And then oh, you have like the, the, the circle balls, like a cupcake that's just covered in the like the little tiny, tiny, mini little like. Oh, those are good. Two, oh, those are good too. I'm like oh. an OG little sprinkle pearls. gal. Mm. I think yeah, the sprinkles are like classic. Like you can't go wrong with the yeah. sprinkles. It adds a little those, bit of texture. Yep. I think they look cute. I love getting like a twist cone with sprinkles on it. Mm -hmm. I'm also like a rainbow sprinkles as opposed to chocolate sprinkles oh, yes. gal. Yes. Um, totally but, agreed. I. But I don't mind them. I'm. I'm never like if I was baking a cake and there was like there were no sprinkles, I'd be like, it's fine. The cake looks like cool and minimal. Like yeah. you don't need sprinkles. Yeah, but I don't think they're pointless. They're not pointless. I'm not. A, yeah. 
just have a little fun. These, yeah. A lot of these hot takes are like, I don't like fun. Cynics. And that's what I just believe. <laughs> no engagements and no sprinkles. Yeah. Um, thoughts here. Spotify is better than Apple Music. Um, uh, I don't have Apple Music, but I yeah. would think It definitely so. is. I think mean, that's an objective truth. Okay. That's what I thought also. But I was like, maybe not. Because I know like... What's well, good I about Apple Music? Apple Music... Well, do we I don't to... know. There are some artists that are only on Apple Music. There are some podcasts that are only on... Not even Apple Podcasts, but Apple Music. Music yeah. Like Ezra oh. Koenig from Vampire Weekend, Time Crisis, his podcast is only on that. And I've always wanted to listen Dang. to it, but I don't want to say goodbye to my Spotify. And like Zane Lowe's podcast for oh. Apple Beats. Yep. Yeah. But like Spotify has all the... Spotify is so much better. It has all the social features where like it gives you your Spotify wrapped every year. You, the playlisting is so much better on Spotify. Spotify never goes white, right? It's always black. Yeah. Right? Yeah. That, there's, there's not like a light mode. There's not oh, a yeah, light no, mode it's on Spotify. Been dark. Like, it's the always black. interface has always been like dark, dark mode. mode. Oh, yeah. Which yeah, I yeah, think yeah. is like interesting because that's why I didn't like Apple Music because it was always light and I didn't like picking music, mm -hmm. like when it's looking too at bright. music songs like that. <laughs> I like yeah. it. Like, is Apple Music iTunes? <laughs> <laughs> I was literally having that exact. I think, did it evolve? Like, did yeah, it used to be iTunes. I don't even I was thinking that exact thing. I was like, this thing about like my iPod back in the yeah. day, just like, hee hee, iTunes. Girl, uh, now it's, sounds so stupid, iTunes. Yeah. Hell, <laughs> iTunes store. And that's weird where iTunes is where you go and buy and rent movies is on iTunes. Isn't oh. that weird? iTunes, but like. Movies. There's movies. Oh my God, we said iTunes weird. sometimes it lost its meaning. I feel iTunes. like it's a cartoon now. <laughs> yeah. iTunes on The only yeah. thing I know Apple Music is better for, I knew a girl that was a, like a professional challenge and she said Apple Music is way better about like, for classical music, listing out who the actual players on a uh, classical piece of music is because like if you're trying to study like a Bach piece it matters which <laughs> like which cellist played it uh -huh. and on Spotify they just don't give a fuck they just like here's Bach and then on Apple Music it, the classical music is a lot more organized and categorized. I wonder if that's why Joanna Newsom is on, is not on Spotify but on Apple. I actually asked Joanna Newsom one time. Shut up. Why she wasn't on Spotify and she got so mad at me what? that Andy Samberg had to come over and apologize for how much she was yelling at me. Wait. She, what? Okay, hold I on. I was at a Justin Timberlake concert, and I snuck into the <laughs> VIP area, and I was like 22, and right in front of me was Jessica Biel, Andy Samberg, uh, the guy from SNL that used to be married to Olivia Wilde. Jason Sudeikis. Jason Sudeikis oh. and Joanna Newsom, and I only cared Who's about- Joanna Newsom? She's a, a uh, harp, harp, harp player. player. Okay, married okay. to Andy Samberg. Okay. She speaks at a door. Oh, they're married. Yeah, she's married to Andy Samberg, and oh, they're, yeah. they're all like literally Plumpy. right in front of me. Oh my God. She's, and oh, I, she's beautiful, and like she's a really and she's like a she's like, like a place a harp. It's like a beautiful. She sings like a cat. Oh but Any she's relation not, to Gavin? <laughs> uh, I don't think that they're related to Gavin. Don't she's related to Gavin Newsom, but <laughs> she's not on Spotify. She's like one of the and this is like oh, back in stunning. 2016 or something when like everyone was on Spotify. Yeah, yeah. There wasn't like Except a push. Taylor Swift. <laughs> She, she wasn't in 2016. Okay. Well, so Joanna <laughs> Newsom and Taylor Swift. And I was just like, I was just like kind of pissed. I was like, I want to listen to your music. I want to listen to Joanna Newsom. And I, she wasn't on Spotify. So, and it was like a loud concert. So I just wrote it down on my phone on like a Were notes you, app. Had you been drinking? I hadn't been drinking. It was an open bar and I took full advantage. Yep. So I wrote a note on my phone. I was like, I love your music so much. I wish it was on Spotify. Why aren't you on Spotify? And I like, just like tapped her and like did this. Cause it was like during the concert and she was like, and I was like, oh, I'm, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. And she like didn't answer me. And then after the concert ended, she like came up to me and was like, listen, I want to just go out and live my life. And I don't want people to ask me every fucking day why oh I'm listening, why I'm not on Spotify. Like, it's my choice. And I was like, I get it. Like, I, I get you're making a stance. Like, I just I'm genuinely a fan. I just wanted to listen to it. And she was just like going in on me about like how everyone just always asks her. And I'm like 22. I'm hammered. Oh, I'm just like, uh, OK, she must have been then, like her Andy, breaking point. Andy Samer comes over, and goes, hey, bud, it's a really sensitive topic for her. like, I think you should just drop it. I was like, I am dropping it. I don't want to talk Damn. about this anymore. Oh, my God. And he was like, he was like, it's cool, man. Just like, it's all good. And then like they like went away. And then um, Olivia Wilde and Jason Sudeikis like all saw me talking to them. So they were like, so like, what's going on? What's up? And I was like, oh, what's up, guys? What are we what, what are we doing after this? I was like trying to like party with them. And they were like, uh, oh, Olivia Wilde was like, oh, we're like really old and we have work in the morning. I was like, 
You guys are like famous comedians. Don't give me that fucking <laughs> nine to five bullshit. Like, let's go party. This is sick. Like, we're all oh, we're no. all friends now, right? And Olivia Rod was like, "Oh, honey, you're so cute. You're gonna you're gonna oh. have plenty of fun without us. Don't oh. worry." And then that was the end. And then I saw Andy Samberg at an event like a year later, and I was like, I have to apologize to him. So I went up to him and I was like, "Hey, oh, man." No. Sorry about that time when, like, I got into a fight with your wife. He was like, oh, dude, don't worry about it. We laughed about it later. It was totally fine. And I was just like, I'm he so sorry. He probably had no idea who you were. I bet no it happened. I, I bet it happened no all idea. the time. <laughs> so I feel, I still feel bad that I did that. Because I, I imagine that probably was something that happened to her, like, every day. Yeah. It's like, people are just like, why are you on Spotify? Why are you on Spotify? Why are you yeah. on Spotify? And she just was not. You caught her on a bad day. I guess. Yeah. yeah. Don't feel bad. So I still, I still love her music. I don't think she's still on Spotify, but. Oh, that's my little Joanna Newsom story. Still. Wow. wow. That's a good one. Uh, what? It's just wild, though. No, yeah, I remember you saying that. And then, yeah, mind. just how that whole. Okay. So, Spotify, Mur- Apple Music. <laughs> yeah. Murder and attempted murder should go, should get the same punishment. You shouldn't be rewarded for being bad at murder. <laughs> <laughs> wait, I, I think any... they raise a good point. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, murder and attempted murder. So, yeah. oh, okay. That if you sense. kill someone or you like shoot them to kill them and then they don't die, should have the same punishment. Because it is a different punishment. If you kill someone like on purpose, I think you go to jail. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And if you try and kill someone and they don't die, yeah. you may not go to jail. You could, yeah, I could see that. Mm, I don't know. I, don't know. I mean, your intention You're is doing to kill it on someone. Purpose. But le- yeah. I don't know. I don't know how it would hold up legally in like a okay, court of take law. Okay, but take the take the legal out take of the it. Take the legalize. Like out if of you it. could control legal the government. Stuff. But one if person's no the... longer there. Like someone's not alive. Yeah, but they were trying to kill them anyway. I know. And then he's just going to be released to go do it again. No, I feel like you should be punished for trying to kill somebody. Well, you, I think you do. But Once like man, yeah, you do get it. Like there's different punished, like, things, but not the same amount. I think they raise a good point. I'm huh. trying to think of a perfect example to where it is justified that somebody who tried to kill somebody is serving a lesser penalty than someone who actually did successfully kill someone. Well, I guess it's just an accident. That's the only way I could. This think is of. like if like someone one is good or, at it and one is bad. If you at buy it. if you if you buy poison from a poison dealer and then you give it to someone <laughs> dealer. and that person dies, let's say mm-hmm, you get yeah. let's say you get jail for twenty years. Say another person buys poison from a poison dealer, gives it to someone, and that person doesn't die. Should that They're person like in get in a coma? Then the should they get twenty years also for attempting to kill them? I think yes, because they're still a danger to society. Yeah. If they're, if they're going to go and try to kill years. somebody. Why not 10 years? They didn't kill them. They failed. But well, they, they tried. tried to. I, no, I yeah, get exactly what you mean. They're not good enough. They, they failed. They're, uh, I just, it's, it's, the le- it's the legal talk oh, and how not... a case is presented. Okay, okay. You say we're thinking t- of it oh, very differently. Then, yeah, fine. Make it even. <laughs> I <laughs> Make it even. I think you're just folding right now. I'm just yeah. worried. Yeah. I'm just worried that someone would pin something on me where they were like, <laughs> you were trying, <laughs> weren't you? And I was like, I wasn't at all. They go, you tried. So therefore, you have to serve the time. You're like, I didn't do anything. Okay, you're thinking about it too in depth. Like now, you're thinking someone is gonna blame, like frame you. Yeah. Oh yeah. I just don't think it's very just, like, to say for something that did not happen, for then someone has to serve the crime for something that did not. Okay, happen. but say someone came up to you, shot you in the head, <laughs> but like missed the part of the brain, and oh, then yeah, you're just a point. vegetable for the rest yeah, of your no, life. Yeah, they got to go serve some time. Yeah. <laughs> but the same amount of time as if they were to kill if you, you were to have died either way i don't know i don't know yeah because I, the only way you know what let's just say yes let's just say <laughs> I, yes. I say no but because the only time where i'm saying no it's because of like legal reasons and then we don't want to go down the legal route but that's the whole no that so, is the thing what do you mean this is a legal question i know but she said take let's take legality out of it like i'm thinking about courts of law and like how uh, specific things okay, the can thing get is, very like, specific I understand the difference however i agree with this person that it's like your intention was still there. Yeah. Yeah. That's a well, really, we're, we're, that's a good take. I'm trying to compare it, it with something really else. It is a really good take. It's a good, like, hot topic. Why don't you I would just bring love that to up say, I would love to say that in the middle of a Harvard Law class to hear what everyone has to say, though. <laughs> I'm sure that this has been oh, yeah. studied. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure. But it's, like, funny. It's a okay. good hot take. They, the, another hot take of theirs was, never fight with friends. I'm friends with people because they bring positive vibes into my life. Why would I waste my energy fighting or being mad at them? I'll just ignore them for a couple of weeks. <laughs> uh, I guess it depends. I mean, fighting is is definitely like silly, I think, and a waste of energy. It's like the thing I was saying before, like, don't be a dick. But yeah. if your friends are doing something that's pissing you off to the point where you just <laughs> ignore them for weeks at yeah. a time. <laughs> Sometimes it's like 
I think healthy to let it all out there. Yeah. Have a little argument because I feel like if you're close with close enough with people, it's like, you know, when you fight with your family, like you're still going to love each other at the end of the day. Right. Like, and sometimes you just need to hash shit out. But I think if you're like fighting in a way where it's like you're being mean, not interested. You hooked up it, with my boyfriend. <laughs> yeah. It sounds yeah. like this person, though, with, what I do like is they're being mindful of their like their vibrations with friend yeah. groups. Right. It's OK to have a little argument here and there. Yeah. But I've seen some friends who get in crazy arguments with their friends. And it's like a regular thing. Like, it's yeah. like oh, absolutely no. not part I'm of the not, relationship. I don't want to run out and hang with this circle of friends. If it's just this shit all the time. Oh, um, what always got me growing up, like in high school and stuff, those people, I don't know if you dealt with this with other girls, but they would, you'd see someone have a new best friend every oh, couple months. And it's time. like, what's going no, they'd on? They'd be like your best friend. And then they're like, mm, I'm going to hang out with her this week, actually. And like, be mad at you for no reason. Yeah. Being like a teen is just toxic. It's a lot. It's toxic. Yeah. Teen Especially toxicity. when like, you're not the Regina George of the group and like, you're just under the, you're the Karen or the... <laughs> Gretchen. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and you're like, why, why is this happening? I'm the Karen. Oh, um, God. She's my best friend now. Sorry, Aaron. But No, literally. And then, like, you're writing notes to each other, like, is everything okay? Oh, and then they just, God. like, pass it back to you. They're like, oh. I feel like I always just saw it from a distance, like on yeah. MySpace or something. I'd be like, why does she have another best friend? And, not, and she's not friends with the old one yeah. over and over and over. Oh. Just because, like, when you're younger, you don't know how to communicate your feelings. So if you're like, having tension with someone i feel like as like a teen you don't know how to properly communicate that so you yeah. just like do things to like get under the other skin like get a new best friend i get so sad about thinking about like old friends like not my friends but seeing pairs of friends like oh like the, one of my girlfriends like a girl had like her best girlfriend they are not friends anymore oh sad. don't even talk and it's sad that they aren't like that but they also have to grow up and be adults. Yeah. I don't they, I don't even think they'd be good friends now. Yeah. But you wish it all worked out and they were totally ride or dies. But sad. Well, next hot take. Hot take. Kids kind of suck. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> I've always felt strongly about never wanting them myself, but I felt more empowered recently with our generation decline in having them that I'm not alone. I think it's great so many women and couples in general have prioritized freedom, travel, and money over starting a family. The thought of having kids, having a kid's show on, having toys all over the house, and spending my money on someone else? No, thank you. Carly posted this recently on her story, and I agreed with everything she said 100%. Not nope. interested in baby pics. They all look the same. I literally <laughs> couldn't care less, and creating one myself makes me want to bomb. <laughs> also, this take is as a woman. Wait. This take as a woman actually makes it tough to date in your 30s. Oh. Hmm. I could see that. It's like a lot of people want kids. Yeah. I agree. I don't think kids literally suck, but yeah. they don't, I, they truly don't do anything for kids me. Kids suck your life away from That you. is, yes, that is true. I'm, I'm like on the fence because I really like kids, but I get the like, but when I think about having kids, I go to all these reasons. Like, yeah. I want to travel. I want to do things. I want, don't want my life to right. be hard. I, uh, Mm, they want to don't change want diapers. And Kids yeah. are little shits, but like <laughs> I, it, but it, it's all that stuff comes with it. But I feel very like compelled to be a parent. Yeah. Like it's in, yeah. it's something that's in me right now totally. where I'm just like I feel, Let's do it. Uh, yeah, parental the urge, the urge. Or yeah, I feel like a gravitational force. Baby it's like, fever. Yeah, but I'm not like obsessed. Where like it has to happen right now. But I don't know. Those are the things that come with it. And I totally get what you mean. Like <laughs> it's not. Some people's babies like look cute, but I guess you're just like so happy for them that they like are having a great baby. Yeah, I mean, if it's someone I know, I'm like, oh my god, that's crazy. Yeah, but like you don't have to like look at it. And be when like, I see like oh, kids on TikTok, or, I don't know, people like that's such a cute child. I'm just like, uh huh. But, oh, so I, I love a good yeah. cute child. My though. whole TikTok feed is like, oh, this baby. Like, like I'll show pictures to teach, and he's like, Ugh. yeah, yeah. <laughs> but like, I don't think all babies look the same. Like, I'm very on the fence with this, but I don't think that it's a hot take nowadays. Yeah. It's becoming definitely a lot more mainstream yeah. to be like, I don't want a fucking kid. Yeah. Yo, but I boy, I have been thinking about like toys and stuff and like how much of a mess it's going to be. <laughs> yeah. And then also to the point where I have to keep myself in check, where I want the toys to look nice, even if they're in the room. Like, like yeah, they have, have to, to be match like, the interior. Yeah. But I don't want to give them like a bunch of those super like pottery barn toys. <laughs> yeah. But at the same time, I'm like, 
Let's be mindful about like just the it looking good. Because if it's a mess, I want it to look like a cool mess. Yeah. Rather I'm thinking than... of like a litter box that looks like furniture. That's really nice. Pretty much. But, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. I have to like, there's smart ways to do it. That's that is funny. really funny. Okay. And then the last hot take we have. <laughs> My hot take is that ranch is an overrated condiment. I disagree. Me False. too. Disagree. False. That's a big hot take. It ranches. That's just so good. It makes everything taste better. Dumb take. Yeah. You can bad turn take. bad things good with ranch. Yes. And you can turn good good things you great can put with it ranch. On anything. I How love long ranch. has ranch been around? Was has ranch been like <laughs> around since like the sixties or did it? Probably because like, they had like little had packets. Remember, like okay. the ranch seasoning. But and then I'm you can, like, make open it into right a now for something new. Like a like, new thing. What about the pink sauce? You know what? From TikTok. Bring it on. And apparently Heinz put out something called like, so it was like crazy sauce. It's like this. 1950s. Oh, Cranch. Ranch has only been around since Cranch? We did a brand yeah. deal for that. Cranch. Cranch. And that Heinz Cranch? Yeah, they have a bunch of mixed flavors. They have like sriracha one that's like mixed with something else. They There's so many. I wish really the world yummy. would agree though on a really good sauce. Where it became a standard as like ketchup, mustard, ranch, and the sauce. Barbecue Chipotle. sauce. I mean, um, Barb yeah. Chick-fil-A. Yeah. Yes, but like something like yeah. that where it's this sauce that like you can put on anything and it's so good. Mm. I feel like there's a place for ranch. it right now. Is <laughs> Yeah, ranch. Well, ranch. I, I know. Ranch is part of like... Something like that. But uh, just another one that's for like... All. Oh, oh, yeah. A, anything. Like a dipping sauce. Carrots. Does that make sense? Oh. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Ranch is good on any... You could put it on a salad. You could put it... Pizza. 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 Vegetables. <laughs> Veggies. You can mix Sandwich. it with ketchup on for, a, to make a sauce. Amazing for skin. <laughs> you put it in burritos. For psoriasis. A burger. <laughs> burger, burritos. Oh, yeah, um, now. Also in your... the 1950s, in case you didn't hear me, is when so ranch, ranch was like... She's kind of new. She's kind of new. Like they weren't eating... Can you imagine if... Just, I always think about that, like bringing crazy food back to like the 1700s. <laughs> Just here's ra here's fries and ranch. <laughs> what? <laughs> Yum. Oh, I love dipping fries in ranch. Oh my God. Yeah. I would put anything in ranch dressing, I think. I like dipping fries in mayo. Me too. So good. I had something this weekend when I, or last weekend I was in Vegas. Mm. There were french fries and it was like a platter that came with chicken fingers, quesadillas, mm. french fries, and mm. then like buffalo collie. And then there was a bunch of sauces and there was um, sour cream for mm. the quesadilla. But then we ate the quesadilla, so then I was just dipping the fries in sour cream. So good. Oh my god, I'll have to try. Ooh. Really yummy. I love and they sour were like cream. those fries too that like this is gonna sound like weird to describe them, but you know how they they're like crispy on the outside, they are like kinda like warty. You know what I'm talking about? Like crinkle cut? No. With like uh -uh. bubbly? Yeah, like sort of yeah. like bubbly. It's like the perfect crisp. Like, they're are that... they thin? No. They're like I like this. Oh, actually, and yeah. And like, it's like, like them. It must be the way they like fry them. So crunchy. Yeah, but they were so good. And like that Yum. sour cream. Oh my god, I was I like love thin fries, like steak and shake fries. Yeah, same. I've never been just to steak like and shake. Three or four at the same time, and just like they always come in those little them. baskets at restaurants, like the wired yes. baskets. Yeah. Thank you for watching another episode of Good Influences. We hope you enjoyed our hot takes. We hope you enjoyed hearing your hot takes thank you for submitting them uh be sure to like subscribe leave a comment leave a review find us on youtube spotify apple anchor also on instagram tiktok email that's all in the description <laughs> um we will see you next week yeah, yeah. bye guys bye, bye.